Previously on Underbelly. So you want me to do him out of hurry? Find out his darkest secrets? Well, anything you can find out will help. So where are the cameras exactly? Oh, all around. It's probably best you don't know exactly where they are. Hey, you know a guy called uh, Danny Cannon? He's mad. People think I'm mad, but he's really mad. DK! Michael Cannon. They call me Doc. Why a little boy like you want a gun? Tough guy pushed me around. It's not a boxing ring, okay? Get out of here! I'm gonna shoot him. should have taken care of him. Forget about taking over the world. Take care of your people. I understand you used to work as a prostitute. Yet, in your police application, you've made no mention of prostitution. That's a sacking offence. You promised you'd get me back into the coppers. Forget it, Kim. You're persona non grata. Get used to it. What am I going to do for a job? I know someone. What does she do? She runs a parlour. Just sending me to Adelaide to work in a brothel? It's your only qualification. and King's Cross was changing, thanks to the Wood Royal Commission. There was a major power vacuum in that most lucrative of golden miles, a vacuum that dangerous opportunists like Danny D.K. Karam rushed in to fill. And a new generation of wannabe dealers flooded in right behind him. <laughs> Gangs of delinquents from the suburbs roamed the streets unchecked, fighting pitched battles, carving out their turf, causing mayhem. The place was a powder keg. All it needed was one spark. Detective Sergeant Joe Dooley had spent 11 years in the cross. He knew its potential for violence better than anyone. But what could one man do to stop an explosion? Of course, the dealers and street runners were usually bailed and back on the street the very next day. At best, Joe's disruption strategy was delaying the inevitable. What neither he nor anybody else knew was that the war, when it came, would be waged by kids barely old enough to shave. Rael Eleni Mishwart. With Adam, night shift. More night shifts. When are you going to go back to the university, finish your degree, so I can have a photo of my son in one of those funny heads? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. Please bless my son. I left home when I was 11, joined the Christian militia. Fight for God. Fight with a man twice, three times my age. That give you balls. What guns? <laughs> Uzi, AK-47, semi-auto, Dragnov SVD, HK MP5s, mortars, grenades, knives. This one time, we're in a building. The building full of holes from bullets. 
I'm behind a lump of concrete. Soon they start sending rockets. The whole building collapsed. My sergeant, piece of metal, chop his head off. His body is lying over there, but like blood pissing everywhere. They think we're all dead. I'm not dead, but soon they come to check. I know they come to check. So this huge Muslim maniuk with a beard up to his knees is coming around. And I see him, he's, he's coming around and I'm... Ah! Ah! On the street, no one fuck with me. Respect. You're on a bit of a winning streak, mate. Yeah, we're on a bad cars, that's all. Oh, yeah? How much you lose this week? 20 grand? 30, 40. How much you stick up your nose, the same? Well, what are you, my mother or my accountant? It seems like I'm your ATN, mate. You know what your problem is these days? What you're about is this. Oh, I don't know. Lucky for you, it means you don't have to think past the reach of your fist. Yeah, day by day, my friend. Life's not that complicated for me, mate. I'm trying to build something here. Yeah, I'm trying to make something, that's all. Yeah, but for who? It's always about you, Johnny, you and your bloody image. Image? You're the one with the image problem, look at you. Eh? Running around with your piss-head prison mates, like some freak show. Well, at least I don't let a mate take a bullet in the guts. Done. Pissing off. Going to the gold coast. <laughs> Opportunity for us. Uh, uh, we're moving a quarter ounce per day. That's so we can manage with only two teams. Keep your eye peeled back. Get good people in to run more. Yeah, I got two lined up already. Rabs and Wazzy. They helped out with the cars rebirthing. Rabban Wasim. Huh? They are Muslim. They're mates of ours, DK. Good mates. I trust your judgment, Doc. <sighs> so, do we get our pain now? First, I take two grand each. What? Weekly rent for your teams. Four grand? You never said anything about paying you four grand. Protection. Then you must set aside money to buy the next ounces. What the fuck? You never said anything about paying you. Trading on my good name, Habib. Your runners are working for company DK. You want me to take the baby, Danny? I think she's hungry. Thank you, Dollface. You boys are the bomb. Look how much you make in so tiny time. You're gonna take over the city. Where are you from? Um, Parramatta. Bilubnan, Habib, Bilubnan. Ah, Baker Valley. Village near Baruk. Ever used a gun before? Yeah, I told you they were cool. Sahten. <laughs> Ever have to teach someone a lesson? Where is the best place to shoot him? Um... In a back alley? Here. Or here. He live. 
But remember not to fuck with your gun. <laughs> well, what about the movie Casino? <laughs> oh! Best movie ever. I love the part where Joe Pesci says, Listen to me, Tony. I got your head in a vice. I'll squash, squash your fucking head, head like, like a, a grapefruit. grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, pull over. What? Just stop. Hey, Skip. Hey. You want to get on? No, no, I don't want to get on. I want to know what you're doing selling on our patch. It's free country, mate. Many people we say get to sell in the cross. <laughs> Why? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Yeah. Who the fuck am I? Yeah. Who the fuck am I? Yeah. Who the yeah. Ah! Who the ah! fuck am I? Ah! We're DJ's boys, motherfucker. That's who we are. They kill me in the cross. They kill me. Every park tent, they kill me. every they corner, kill me. every lane. <laughs> Ours. <laughs> ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Get in. Be the fuck am I? There you go. Two recovered from the scene, one from the victim's right knee. He give you a description of the shooter? Didn't see a thing. Nobody did, apparently. It was a total solar eclipse. And your old mate DK's flooding the streets with his dealers. Word is up to 20 at a time. Mm, they don't see DK himself much these days. No, you wouldn't, would you? He's a big man now. Got a bunch of baby weasels doing his bidding. Let's up the pressure. The crime manager, Sydney Police Centre. Subject, the rise in drug-related violence in King's Cross. There is now a new wave of dealers claiming the streets. Selling prohibited substances that exchange hands in broad daylight in full view of the general These public. These dealers are not intimidated by the uniformed police presence and fight for control over the streets through unprecedented use of firearms. There's been a fourfold increase in the number of arrests of street dealers. Ambulance service reports suggest a corresponding increase in cocaine-related call-outs. In my view, speaking as an 11-year veteran of the cross, the balance of power in the streets has been dangerously skewed. The runners are going wild. They're scared shitless. He's coming and He's arresting arrested, everyone. Bro. We have a single one duel. He's in the Fucking do it in! Fucking do it in! You know, I might as well send these reports to Mars for all the response they're getting. Still, you must be seriously pissing DK off. What do you reckon? One or two bottles? Well, considering Deb doesn't drink and I can't. Weird thing happened. I was in the news agents before. Mr. Habaka said a couple of young guys have been in. Uh, Ask if he knew anyone with the name Dooley. Did he, um... Give them our address? He's so discreet, but his own mother doesn't know where he lives. Did he say what they look like? Young, Lebanese, spunky, like you, but with fewer worry lines. <laughs> Something wrong, babe? That'll be them. Mm. You're kidding me. DK's out there prowling around making death threats, and you haven't told her. Well, what would be the point? Oh, let me see. Uh, if she knew there was a violent psycho out there, she might take reasonable safety precautions. Oh, it'll just scare her. Is he on the K on Captain Bay? Hey. Who's the chef here, me or you? Yeah, you're a hmm? brave woman, Ellie. Back at the station, he was famous for burning water. Oh, that is not true. I'd want to know something like that. Ooh, Ellie's not a cop. She's a primary school teacher. She's a bloody adult. And if she can stare down a classroom full of ten-year-olds, she's got more balls than all of us put together. Come on! Oi! You gotta move your vehicle! Again! What? It's parked on the footpath people can't get past. Again! Hey, hey, hey! You got a problem with my truck? Huh? No problem here. When are you going to realise you're not special? No one else parks like this. Now, why don't you just do yourself a favour? Get fucked. Go do something useful. Useful? Hmm. OK. How about I move your Tonka toy for you? No one touches my truck and I'll smack him in the head, you included. Move your vehicle! Oh, oh, fuck it, my Do you want to have a go? Step back! Oh, I'm 
arresting you, assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, creating a public nuisance. Let me guess, eh? Bit of possession, yeah? Take him. What? You're waiting for me to kiss your feet. So what, this is, um, this is you living day to day, is it? Taking on a cop? Fuck off. Hey. You do my in. The cross is about to explode and you're going inside. Hmm? I should kick some sense into you, mate. Mm -hmm. Then why don't you shoot us? It's time to see how much a real man you are. When I was in the militia in Beirut, you know what saved my ass? A good pair of knocks? <laughs> <laughs> Loyalty. Loyalty for my fellow men. That's what saved my ass. They had my back. Like I got yours. Michael. You, my special one, Doc. Special lieutenant. Wow, I see. Good boy. You earned it. And me. <laughs> DK boys. Yeah. Johnny, <laughs> Danny George's current. Hey, are you expanding? Open up another disco. It's a small place, DCM's on Oxford Street, nothing big. You've been doing a bit of uh, business expansion yourself, huh? In fact, you know what? This guy, your name's been popping up everywhere in the cross. Good things only, though, eh? <laughs> yeah. Oxford Street, huh? Moving out of the cross, Habib. Had enough? Just getting started. See you, Danny. Dog, yeah, dog. You like? Like the bloody bishops? <laughs> Cost me $900, dog, each. Each. Take it off your next profit. Pardon? We got each other's back, dog. You with me? Yeah? <laughs> Good. Yalla. 
boys. Let's go bump some wheels. Drives one, you bag. Oh! <laughs> so, what do you want to do, Doc? Just cruise around and see what happens. <laughs> yeah! Okay. up on the street between two pub patrons quickly escalated when a red magna believed to have been stolen and carrying four young men pulled up nearby witnesses described how two of the men in the stolen vehicle got out and joined in the brawl a third man then also got out of the magna and pulled a gun shooting three of the pub goers in what witnesses said was a brutal and entirely unprovoked attack the men wanted for questioning are described as being between 20 and 25 years old. Of Lebanese appearance. Anyone with information is urged to contact Why do people do such things? 1 800 333. I leave Lebanon for this. Mom, don't watch. You know, stuff like this upsets you. One of the victims has died. This is bullshit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Left, right, left. That's the way you taught me. Left, right, left, right, left, right. How is everyone? Grabs his lips a bit, bug it up. Him and Wazzy dubbed the car and went home. You okay? Why? Why'd you do it? Fuck the lot of them. As long as we're okay. If it happened the same way, I'd do the same thing. As long as we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Huh? Yeah. What's the guy gonna say? Cops come to my house last night. My fucking house. My wife and daughter sleeping in the next room. Joe fucking Dooley in my house. The cops won't catch us. They're fucking idiots. You're the fucking idiot. What did you do? What the fuck do you think I do? I polite, tell them I know nothing about anything, give them coffee, put oil on your red fucking sea! If any one of you do anything like this again, I break your legs. Now get going. There's another two ounces of coke ready in Paramata. Drop this in it. What do you always tell us? Never talk to the cops. Chuck a stink, tell him to piss off, and he's invited detectives from the cross into his lounge room. Yeah, man, but he had to do something, otherwise they would have come. You should knock him. 
Yeah, okay. All right. I'll, I'll ring Joe Pesci, shall I? See if he's available for a hit. Or maybe you want someone bigger. De Niro or, or Ray Liotta. <laughs> ah, no, but this one, we need the big dog. We need Al Pacino. Yeah. Me. I always tell the truth. Even, Even when, when I, I lie. lie. <laughs> I've got no problem paying the taxes. Yeah, it's two grand a week. Hunter's got to be able to get to the doors without tripping over 50 dealers, twice as many junkies. Security, you understand? I understand that, Frank. Let me with me, huh? Kiwi Steve and that Ibrahim prick think they own the cross? Half our runners won't even work there anymore. Mm. They can't disrespect us like this. You're staying for dinner, Adam? Oh, no, thanks, Mrs. Kinnard. I've got someone else on. A girl? Damn right, a girl. Pretty girl. <laughs> uh, her name's Jodie. We're going out, Colin. Can I take along? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. I know just the club to go to. <laughs> my mum's Russian and my dad's Irish. Oh. Yeah, I'm a clash of cultures made flesh, I suppose. <laughs> Same here. Yeah? Where are you from? Sydney and Melbourne. Really? Yo, cousin, turn around. Show me what you got, man. Sorry? What, in the back of my I pocket? Said, turn yeah. around. Is this what the fuck you're looking for? Sit. Sit. No one could have foreseen just how personally Doc Kanan would take this loss of face. We spot Ibrahim or Kiwi Steve on the street, we all get out and shoot them. No matter where they are, no matter who's around. People on the street will shoot themselves. No one will fuck with us. You think it's a good idea to be shooting people up there? You don't want to be here, bro. Leave now. There is. Kiwi Steve. You're dead! Kiwi prick! No, 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 it's not him! It's not him! It's the cleaner! No! 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 Don't shoot him! Yeah, the place was empty, lucky we closed early. So, uh, this is part of your war with DK for control of the drug trade? How many times, mate? Huh? I don't deal drugs, I don't use drugs, I don't have anything to fucking do with drugs. You wanna search me? Huh? Research this place, search any of my clubs. I don't care. Don't worry about it, Warren. Just bust right in, search my house, check my bank statements. I don't care, stick a microscope at my eyes. When you're done, come back and buy me a new door. Because you won't find anything. Okay. Yeah. That was headquarters. Looks like your crime reports have finally reached Mars. 
Strike Force Lancer has been set up to investigate organised crime in King's Cross. Now, since February, there's been 14 kneecappings, all drug related, and now 50 plus shots fired into a nightclub door in full view and range of 30 witnesses. So I think you all agree. Organised crime in the Cross has reached Olympian heights. Now, these up here, these are your A list heavies. But I reckon last night's fireworks display was tied into rivalry for control of the streets between these two, DK and John Ibrahim. Now, Ibrahim's a dark horse. What do we know about him? Ibrahim and DK might both want to be kings of the cross, but there are two differences between them. DK's got multiple convictions for supply and possession. Ibrahim, no convictions, no arrests, nothing. Right. We've never found evidence of him dealing from any of his clubs. The second difference is, John Abraham is not a violent lunatic, DK is. Yeah, well, I hear DK's got a bit of set against you, Detective. He reckons you're a, you're a traitor to the Lebanese race. So listen, I'd understand if you don't want to be here. You know, if you want to take off. You're on the team targeting Danny Karam. Mm -hmm. The guy who said he'd kill you, you are. Family and then shit on your grave. It'll be all right. Were you the only cop left in Sydney who could go on this task force? Jesus. We're about to have a baby in 10 minutes. Us, apparently, and he wishes us long and happy lives. After the tunnel shooting, DK moved his business to a new safe house. Let's call it a safer safe house. It's me, Rabs, Wazzy and Doc. Time's a ticking, tick tock, tick tock. Where the DK boys, you hear that noise? It's the pump action shotties producing bodies. They call me Doc, I got an 8 inch cock. It's too long for my knees, so I gotta wear a sock. They call me Doctor, I'm sorry if that shocks ya. I slept with your missus and she mocks ya. Oh! This is all whack. <laughs> and for a couple of months, his boys carried on business as usual. You know what we're saying? Listen to me when I'm talking, you understand? The drive-by shooting of Lakemba Police Station left the front of the building riddled with at least 20 bullet holes. The police commissioner has condemned the attack as cowardly. It's the latest in a spate of incidents involving firearms that have plagued Sydney in recent months. As many as 13 shots, most likely from two weapons, say police, one of them a high-powered automatic. The shots penetrated the front door of the police station and two of the shots went through a police vehicle parked out the front. Inside the station, five young officers on duty behind the counter in direct line of fire. These match the ones from the tunnel drive on? Uh, most of them do, not all of them. Plus we've got matches with casings found at at least five kneecappings. You reckon these mongrels are from DK's game? That's what we're getting from the streets. Kneecappings, shootings on the street, shooting up a police station. I mean, what are they going to do next? Thanks to our police station. Sometimes I wonder... War... What the fuck is good for? All these good, young men... My friends... Their lives... If we don't fight, Muslim monkeys, they take over everything. Never trust a Muslim. Uh, 
I'm joking. Dinia. Dinia. Ossie and Rabs were Muslim, and they were Doc's best mates. So what message was DK trying to send him? I tell you, we should knock him. We do everything for him. Made him over a million dollars and he says shit like that. He treats us like crap, Doc especially. We've got to have each other's backs, bro. How should we do it? prepared a hot shot for their once beloved leader. One hit and revenge would be theirs. Not to mention his thriving cocaine and car rebirthing records. But you know what they say about best laid plans. He wouldn't take it. Could tell there was something wrong with it. Went ballistic. Oh, shit, man! Did you know it was us? I told him I got it from another supplier. He said we've got to find him and bash him. He gave me this. <laughs> plan A having been a fizzer, Doc moved on to Plan B. And Plan B was right back in his natural territory. You stand on the left. I stand on the right. We're angled away from each other so we don't get caught in the crossfire. You stay up here, call us as soon as he comes down. But I want to help waste the I need plan. you to stay up here, bro, if this is going to work. I don't be up here. He can do it. He's early. He's early, he's early, he's early. He's early. Go down the back stairs. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Hey! What took so long? Oh, uh, uh, the TV was loud. Yeah, sorry. Do you want a coffee or something? Nah. Where's Doc? He's, um, seeing a girl. He's out seeing a girl. <laughs> See those fagots next door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're okay, though. I know one of them works in the gym. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Something wrong? No, no. Just um, uh, having problems with my girlfriend. Girlfriend, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. You tell Doc to call me when you see him. Yeah.
Dooley. There's been a murder. Who's dead? DK. I'll send the car for you. I'm going to work. Jesus. I don't know many people are going to say poor Danny. You know what that means, though, don't you, bro? It means whoever's crazy enough to kill DK, gonna be crazy enough to kill your next man. With DK's murder, the Golden Mile saw the passing of one of its most complex, unpredictable and seriously violent men. John was right. A lot of people slept easier knowing that DK wasn't out there anymore. But there were still two more time bombs ticking away. Bombs that would blow King's Cross and the New South Wales Police Force open all over again. One ticked away in the southwestern suburbs of Sydney. The other ticked away in Adelaide. firepower than the Russian army and they are coming looking for you and Kiwi Steve. And what are you guys going to do about it? Organised crimes laughing his bloody head off. Your stupid bloody royal commission took away our balls. And why? Because it had to happen? Fuck, fuck it, kid! How much do you want this, Dennis? I'd kill for it, King. Underbelly, the epic final, next Sunday, 8.30.